In 2003, the longest and broadest blackout in our recent history. In 2008, a steep and painful spike in oil prices that doubled over a span of six months. Every consumer faced an uphill struggle at the gas pumps. Whether you lived in San Francisco or Nashville, New York or Portland, Chicago or Cedar Falls, skyrocketing gas prices, unseen before in history, became a harsh daily dose of reality. History is a great teacher. Every political event in unstable but oil-rich nations has led to sharp spikes in oil prices. This very fact speaks volumes about the negative short-term and long-term impact of the dependence on foreign oil as a critical energy source. Drilling for oil within American shores continues to be a sensitive subject given the direct impact on the environment. The current electric power transmission grid is functional but strongly lacking in optimization, scalability, reliability, and ability to link renewable and non-renewable sources with consumers. How are we going to cross these hurdles? Where are the solutions to this energy maze? Is this even possible? This is our time to put our people back to work and open doors of opportunity for our kids. To restore prosperity and promote the cause of peace. To reclaim the American dream and reaffirm that fundamental truth that out of many we are one. That while we breathe, we hope. And where we are met with cynicism and doubt and those who tell us that we can't we will respond with that timeless creed that sums up the spirit of a people. Yes, we can. We humans, as a species, already function as a smart grid. We play different roles in our daily lives. For the common good of our society and nation, we dynamically adjust and play as a team. Why not apply the same principles to build a new smart electric grid? Every time a crisis arose, together as a nation, we have solved bigger problems with ingenuity, innovation, and dedication. Now you are thinking, okay, we understand the problem, and yes, history is inspiring, but how can this energy maze be really solved? Yes, it can be. We can shape America's energy future to be an electric one by tapping in a variety of domestic renewable and non-renewable power sources and share them with consumers through an internet-style smart transmission grid. With new policies, innovative technologies and infrastructure upgrades, the smart electric network is well poised to change the way we live our lives. Here's a technologist's view of what really is so smart about this new electric grid. We will focus on the relationship between transmission interfaces and consumers. Using a smart grid, transmission interfaces can be interconnected, can be connected directly to the sources, or their interactions can be routed through a central grid. The key point to note is all interactions between transmission interfaces and consumer entities are multi-directional. This ensures that consumer end entities can start storing excess energy and turn into power sources and supply power back to the grid. This is just the starting point. It gets better. The secret sauce in the smart grid is how each transmission component can adjust its capacity and role, driven by the unique demands of the consumer entities. Some components supersize themselves for a specified time period whereas some microsize themselves and remain disconnected from the central grid. Either way, the smart grid is intelligent to know the nature, state, 
size of every transmission component, and also the demand level of consumers. This picture is conceptual and shows a smart grid in the center, but it need not be implemented this way. The grid can be an invisible one and can be rendered smart by intelligent wiring of transmission interfaces. To borrow from information technology terms, the grid acts as a multi-channel distribution network channeling energy. The grid gateway's access points shall leverage a common but flexible framework to enforce security, access and other relevant policies regarding transmission and distribution, as specified by the federal or local governments. Given the large-scale nature of this initiative, here are some thoughts around how to phase the construction of the smart grid. First, establish an energy center of excellence with adequate representation from government, businesses, and energy and IT sectors. Next, adapt an upgrade approach to the existing infrastructure, i.e. by injecting software-based control solutions to targeted transmission components. Then, apply rerouting algorithms on existing transmission infrastructure. Metrics should be published on how these rerouting procedures can save costs on a near-term basis. Next, provide additional infrastructure to link renewable sources, i.e. wind, solar, nuclear, biomass, to the existing transmission grid. Then. Enable smart solutions that allow consumers to efficiently meter and control energy usage. Conduct national and local training campaigns targeted for consumers. Then invest in extra infrastructure in a targeted fashion to newly construct the smart pieces of the grid. For example, the supersizing, microsizing components we talked about earlier. It is our sincere hope that everyone watching this video puts their mind to work and applies their efforts innovatively in a collaborative way. Go my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country.